She kissed me. I just, I didn't feel it. Oh shit! I like juicy, juicy lips, juicy booty, big titties. Like. <laughs> Babies. It's your girl Shay Angela, and I'm back with another video, back with a banger, back with another one. You already know what is up, y'all. Hey, y'all. How are you feeling today on this lovely again Friday? Like, I really feel like Fridays are my best days of the week. That's so cliche to say, but I really feel like Friday is that day. She's that girl. But as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be giving y'all a story time about my first time with a snow bunny and how that went. I want to put a disclaimer out there before I get this story time kind of started. I am in no way, shape, or form trying to uh, be in... Bitch, I'm speaking from my point of view, okay? Look, this is how I felt and... A lot of times when I'm telling these story times, I'm reliving that part of my life. But I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm telling y'all raw what happened, how I felt. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down in the description box down below. And you never know what's down there, so don't forget to check it out. Y'all already know I'm finna get this girl a name. We gonna give her color Vanilla. That's the name we gonna come up with. So boom. Me and Vanilla met off this dating website. Now, I'm young and I like to explore. I like to try new things. I'm very adventurous for my age. I was on a couple of dating websites and I happened to find Vanilla has swiped right on me. So I'm like, okay, cute. Like, you know, when somebody starts writing you, you're not thinking they're finna interact with you because most dating websites in today's society do not go how you think. But she actually sit up in my DMs and we started talking. So like me, I was talking on the app for a little minute and then it quickly transpired to texting on messages. So we was texting on messages. She was a cool vibe. Like we even got on the phone a couple of times. And this was back when, um, this happened like a couple of months ago, but I actually had a vlog that I was going to give out to y'all, but that didn't end up happening. A clocky. This just be all type of shit going on. We texting on messages now, and you know, I'm feeling her little vibe. We just mingling, getting to know each other, and I don't know about y'all, but I always wait until the other person offers for a date. I might bring it up, but it also depends like how I'm feeling with the person, like if I'm feeling a vibe on how soon I want to meet them, and pretty much where they head at. I'm very adventurous, so I'll be ready to meet the first day. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey? I be already on it. She finally brought up that she wants to go on a date. Of course, I was down. Like, I was down for the countdown, okay? And we, at this time, we didn't already be on the phone. I didn't met her friends. I be on the phone with her, like, when she be at work. Like, we already a little tiny thing. And we, I think we've been talking for, like, two weeks before we actually met. Because she trashed me a couple of times, but I ain't gonna, I ain't sent her off. But I ain't go through with the plan, if that makes sense. You know, I ain't no Nene type shit. We finally decided to go out. I really like going to the movies. Like, I don't care what time of day we go. I don't care what movie we go to go see. I just like going to the movies. Like, I just find it very fun. So we plan to go to the movies and I think that was pretty much it. We're planning this for like a week and a half. First week, plans didn't go through. Second week, plans went through. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, okay, we finally get in somewhere with the relationship, I guess. We finna get ready for this date. So the day come and I'm getting dressed. I redid my hair. I'm actually gonna put up pictures right here how I look. And she gets a text to me a couple of hours before the date even started that she wanted her friends to be with us. Now, mind y'all, this is my first time meeting Vanilla. So why would I want to be meeting you on top of your friends? Now, when I got with them, they was obviously pretty cool. But in the meantime, in my head, like, of course, I'm very adventurous, but I'm not dumb. So I was just so confused on why this become a double date if I'm trying to get to know you. A clock is. But I was like, okay, that's cool. Bring your friends. Come on. So she go get her friends, you know, um, all of them ready or whatever, and they pull up. So mind y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I really hate walking to the car and there's a whole bunch of people in the car. I, especially people I don't know, because I don't know what's going through their head. I walk to the car, I get in, and they in the back seat. It's a couple behind me that's in the back seat, and then it's her driving. So I'm in the car, go to scenery out. So I say hey to the couple. I say hey, you know, how you doing? I'm Shia. You know, I get in the car on my little bougie shit. I'm just feeling like a little princess. So they be like, we finna go pick up another friend. I'm like, damn, I gotta meet 
three friends meet the girl and I, I like this is a lot like this is so many different energies around me at once like all I kept doing was like praying to myself I'm really okay with meeting a lot of people at once but then it's like when it's unexpected you know what I mean like we pick up friend three who happens to live close to me which I'm like okay bitch I don't even know you you live close to me like that's that's what's up that's a vibe we head downtown and we park and this is now when i'm really getting to know them because the whole time that we was driving downtown like we was in traffic so like i was just you know fake giggling and laughing and making them laugh y'all know little conversation like that and all i'm thinking in my head is like i turned my location off for everybody don't nobody know that i'm leaving with these people all i told my mom was that i was going with my friends and my friends were nowhere near me my friends didn't even know where i was going i just knew i was going on a date and yeah so we get downtown, parked the car, and then we went to go get something to eat. So we went to go get something to eat, and y'all, when we was up in there, a dude tried to talk to me, right? And I was like, no. I pointed at Vanilla, and I said, this my girlfriend. He's, he's like, he did like this. And then I look around, I see Vanilla trying to act like she ain't trying to claim me. Like, not on the, not on no, oh, this ain't my bitch type shit, but like she was scared or something. I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. I don't know about y'all, but if a man try to approach me, I need my girlfriend or wife to approach him and let it be known to that fella, fellow, that it ain't that. The minute the dude was like, what's your name? What's your number? She. If a nigga say he might, he trying to talk to me, you need to be on that, trying to check him. Get the food, we chilling, still a vibe. And they were all cool, like the whole, y'all, the vibe was fucking immaculate. After we get, we get done eating, we get ready to go to the movie theater. Go see Challenger. It was that Zendaya movie around that time. I'm watching the movie. The movie's not really like, I love my girl Zendaya, but I ain't like the movie. It wasn't really like hidden to me. I just couldn't get into the movies. And so we just sitting there talking and um, the, uh, the first couple, they're sitting at the ed their side of the movie theater. Friend number three and then me and Vanilla sitting next to each other. Me and Vanilla, like, it's cool. Like, it's a cool vibe. We finally get to, like, just kind of have, like, that little tiny couple one-on-one -on -one time. Thinking in my head, like, okay, like, you know, I'm kind of feeling her vibe. I'm kind of happy now that her friends are there. Like, now everything, you know, is lining up and it's seeming pretty fun. So from the couple that was already in the back seat when I got in, the film out of the couple, the girl, um, she had invited her friend to the movie theater with us as well and it was really late and they wouldn't let people inside the movie theater no more so she left out the movie theater to go hang out with her friend so she leaves and then her stud girlfriend stays with us and then friend number three is still sitting on the side of me so the movie's still playing we chilling we relaxing and me y'all i don't know about y'all but i like a little flirt i love to flirt like i love to just you know play around see where your head at What's your limit in regards to how, how much can I play with you? Like, I don't know more of a, you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but. So we playing or whatever, we kind of holding hands. We kind of doing like this and kind of doing like this. And so I'm chilling. We still watching the movie, still watching the movie. About 45 minutes into the movie, after chilling and holding hands, I can't remember what Vanilla said, but it made us turn around and look at each other. So we looking at each other, looking at each other's eyes. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, you know, I have a preference. I don't know about everybody else, but I have a preference. I love darker women. That's my per preference. That's what I love. Um, so stepping out of my comfort zone kind of made me look at it like, wow, do I, could I really see myself with a female that's not the same race as me not the same color as me like could i really see myself doing it so that's all kind of going through my mind and while i'm looking at her why the, did vanilla kiss me she kissed me Damn girl you've been lied to you must win what's up a shitty got you in take the keys to the bin yeah come on how many times he done caught him but i think my body my mind was shocked but i was just so confused because i was like I didn't expect us to kiss the first night. I'm not fully with the whole kissing and stuff like that the first night, even though like the vows are there and everything. We kissed, it was like, and I was like, and then after that, like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I be having on so much lip gloss and it's not on purpose. I just like having on lip gloss. I love having my lip gloss. And when she kissed me, she was like, damn, all this lip gloss. And she wiped it off. So I'm like, well, shit, I ain't want to kiss your ass in the first place. So a clock it. But after that she just kept asking for another kiss and i was just i don't know about y'all but i be fake petty 
Um, I ain't give her another kiss. It's not, and it, I ain't give her another kiss because I was fake mad. I mean, because I was mad. I didn't give her a kiss because I didn't want to give her a kiss in the first place. So thank God that I had on a whole bunch of lip gloss. After that, I kept loads of fucking lip gloss on me. I kept it on me. Shit. We went out. We was holding hands a little bit. Um, I tried to shake it off, but I just couldn't. Like, the whole kiss just threw me off. Like, I don't think I was getting aroused. And it kind of threw me off for a loop. Like, it threw me around. So, yeah. After that, like, me and Snow Bunny kind of kept in touch. There's no hatred towards Vanilla or nothing. I just made the... This story time just basically couldn't... It just reminded me that my preference is the same. I love dark-skinned women. And it's going to stay with that. Like... That's just what I like. But this is the first third time about my first snow bunny, how that went. Like, it was cool, but all that extra shit is new to me. Part of me, like, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Part of me, like, really don't get them. But, mm, it is what it is. But anyways, y'all, that y'all. That's the end of the story time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked down in the description box down below. And you never know what's down, so don't forget to check it out. I got too many hoes. you. Thank y'all so, 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 so much. Let's look, let's look right now. I'm finna look right now. Hold on, let me see if it's gonna focus. 1,556 subscribers right now. Do y'all see that? That's how many subscribers are. I'm at 1.5K. And that is honestly so, like, shocking to me. I would've, I, I say this every time, I say this every time, but I, it's, it's so true. I would've never imagined me to even reach or surpass the number of 400 subscribers. So just to exceed and, and get this number, I am so grateful and I wouldn't be here without God, y'all, y'all support, y'all love, liking, sharing, commenting, whatever you want to say down below. Like I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. So to be in that giveaway, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know. Comment how you feeling. Comment how your day going. I really want to know what it is that y'all be doing that, that watch me. Like, I really want to know what y'all up like. I want to get in contact with y'all more and connect with y'all more. Like, let me know down below. We have a lot of new subscribers. And I don't want nobody feeling left out or feeling like this channel is just what a tea at. I mean, the next story time. Do y'all want it? Enough of that. Bye.